Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Gareth the Cage, and welcome back to Judgment on the PS4. Last episode, we ended up going to the hospital, trying to track down Shono to have a little chat with him. Ended up getting escorted out by some guards. We taught those guards a lesson. Took an outfit, and uh, we're sneaking inside to hopefully meet up with Shono when he does his walks. You're not going in? I lose my perfectly good smoking spot? We'll be fine here for now. Just gotta wait for dawn. <sighs> Yagami-san. Have you decided how you're gonna approach Shono? We'll just have to confront him head on. Where we go from there depends on his response. You don't want to negotiate with him? I doubt we have the time for that. After all, this is probably the only chance we'll get to talk to Shono before Ayabe's trial. Guess so, huh? Meaning, we don't have time to waste on negotiation. Gotcha. Speaking of Shono, I actually had an idea. What's that? Well, the murder at the ADDC three years ago. The thought is that Shono framed Okobo for that and got away with it, right? Mm-hmm. But you defended Okobo, and won. Wouldn't the cops have started looking for the real killer once they realized Okobo wasn't their guy? I'm sure they did. But... It wasn't long until Okobo killed again. They didn't have much reason to keep searching, I would imagine. Exactly. Everyone pegged him as the murderer. Makes sense they'd think he's the one responsible for Wakusan, too. But don't you think that's kind of convenient? For one person in particular, I mean. Huh? The guy who's doing human experiments at the ADDC. Shona. Your point? Basically, I think he killed Emi Terasawa and pinned the blame on Okubo. With all he had to lose, don't you think Shono had a motive? Huh? I guess, but... I know you're right. Emi-chan would have been a threat. Hello? I Could discovered that do a while back. How long have you been thinking this? Since you told me what a mess Okubo is now. It was just a feeling. Honestly, I wanted to believe he didn't kill her. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Emi-chan was such a good person. I wasn't going to let it slide. Not after what Okubo-kun did to her. But after all this time, it turns out... Shono is the real killer? Nothing's for sure without evidence. This is all just unfounded speculation. But doesn't it make you want to talk to Shono even more? Yeah. I've never been this ready for morning. Why are you two here? Dr. Shono, what is it? How did you get in here? I just want to ask you a few questions, Dr. Shono. Well, I don't have anything I can say to you. Apologies. I need you to handle this. I have to go. Hey, where are you going? This won't take long. Sorry. I can't let you go any further. Call security. 
Shono! <laughs> Let's go, Yagami-san. We can't let him get away. It's our only chance. Do it to it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Take it on the whole science. Oh, yeah. Take out anybody. Go ahead and drink a little something. Oh, I keep pressing it twice. <laughs> I'm freaking out a little bit. Oh, good. The time stops. something there we go plenty of time that we'd end up here of all places this is the room right where Wakusan was staying the man who died after you used him as a test subject for 89 why'd you do it Shono for the glory thought nobody'd notice one missing dementia patient what are you talking about get out of here this is trespassing <laughs> You sure you want us to go? Uh, huh? I thought you'd be a little more curious about how much of your secret I really know. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one backing the mole. Isn't that right? Huh? How dare you accuse me of... That's not all I know. Hamura's the middleman. 
You pretty satisfied with his work? I won't stand for this baseless slander. What proof do you have? <laughs> you just made a big mistake, Shono-san. Huh? You've been working non-stop on this new drug, right? No way the street slang about a murderer would have reached your ears. Ha <laughs> ha! You're supposed to ask what the mole is. Uh, what is the mole? There's a good boy. The serial killer who's been gouging people's eyes out. It all started three years ago, right here in the center. <sighs> You performed an 89 experiment on Wakusan while he was asleep. Probably late at night. And when he died, you did the only thing you could. Snuck him out. <sighs> I'm sure Wakusan's death came as a complete shock to you. But you didn't have time to panic. You needed to hide the body, fast. So, you use the laundry cart to transport it without raising suspicion. You just needed to get it as far away as possible. Then, just before 8 a.m., Shinpei Okubo arrived at the hospital to gather the linens. That was your chance. You waited for an opening, hid the body in his truck. That wouldn't solve anything, though. Okubo would find Wakusan, and of course call the cops. Naturally, they'd then search for whoever stashed the body there. But you didn't have any other choice, did you? You had to take the risk, and somehow, it paid off. Turned out, Shinpei Okubo had a criminal record and was worried the police would suspect he murdered Wakusan. So, he didn't report it. Instead, choosing to bury the body deep in the Okutama Mountains. You were probably thrilled with Okubo. I mean, it's practically a miracle someone else stepped up and took the blame for you, wouldn't you say? I don't know what you're talking about. But then another miracle happened. One not so convenient for you. Okubo walked. And if he was innocent, that would mean someone else killed Wakusan. They might have even come after you if you didn't do anything. Which is when you sold your soul to the devil. What do you mean by that? Don't play dumb with me. You know all too damn well what I'm talking about. You needed to frame Okubo. And you murdered someone in cold blood to do it. Murder? Who are you accusing me of killing? Emi Terasawa. A co-worker of yours. And Okubo's girlfriend. Oh. You forced your way into their apartment and murdered Emmy. According to the autopsy report, she was stabbed at least 15 times. I didn't. Did she tell you Okubo-kun had been taking pills to help him sleep at night? Conveniently enough, he didn't wake up while you were murdering his girlfriend. Him smelling like booze was probably your doing too. Let me guess, you injected him with alcohol? That'd raise his BAC no problem. And sure, he could have died if you messed up, but that wouldn't have mattered. As long as you could chalk up Emmy's murder to a drunk, suicidal Okubo-kun. <sighs> and once you made sure you could pin the blame on Okubo, you set fire to the whole apartment. What evidence do you have to... Don't worry. I can't prove it yet. But I'm damn near positive I'm on the right track. I can see it in your eyes. Look. I know what you're thinking. 89 will save countless people. 
Meaning there's no way you're not doing the right thing. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Shono. But that's just not true. Boom! You know, when someone thinks they're in the right, that's when the real cruelty in people starts to come out. So what do you say, Shono? Are you really right? <laughs> Just what is going on in here, damn it? Oh, hey. We were just heading out. Why, you. And by the way, I'm so sorry to hear about 89. <sighs> Maybe you, uh, need a few more humans to test it on? <gasps> <laughs> Don't worry. Shono san here didn't tell us a damn thing. But hey, I'm gonna find out the truth. Even if it's the last thing I do. Whoops, my foot slipped. How clumsy of me. That hurt, huh? I asked you if it hurt. Please, I didn't kill her. You have to believe me. Oh, crying's not gonna help you now, kid. Just like it didn't help Emi Terasawa. You still stabbed me in the fucking stomach! Didn't you, you little shit? Look, Okubo, I don't want to go getting your hopes up just yet. But... Just listen. I was gonna say... I believe you. You didn't kill her. I can see that now. It'll all work out. I'm gonna avenge Emi-chan. And I swear I'm gonna get you out of here. I promise. Sorry, I... I should have said that to you a lot sooner. What was I doing? These three years... I didn't do a damn thing to help you. So, will you give me another chance? Of course I will. Of course. Thank you so much. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like that's a good place to pause it. We'll continue in the next episode. We're on to chapter 10. Three more to go. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because we have tons of videos going on over there. Until next time, you guys, stay frosty.